In the corner of your eye, you can see that little hole is called the puncta lacrimalis. And so tears flow across your eye, into that hole and into your nose, a bit like the plug hole in a bath. And that's why your nose runs when you cry. Now, the tears that Zahn's making at the moment are called basal tears, and they protect the eye. They contain antibodies and they lubricate it. And when they run into the nose, you swallow them and recycle them. But not all tears are created equal, and we are going to try and prove it. Are we? How? By turning your tears, Zahn, into crystals. Crystals? In my eye? That's going to hurt. No, Zahn, not in your eyes, in our lab. Your eyes actually make different types of tears depending on why you cry. And I want to see if we can prove it. Are you ready, Zand? No! Good. Now, what we need you to do is to produce some tears. I will then collect them using a little syringe. So what kind of things make you cry? Well, I suppose a really sad movie. Brilliant. Sad tears. <laughs> <laughs> Success. Now, what about tears from chopping onions? And let's try some wind in your face while you're riding your bike kind of tears. Now, there's one more type of tears I had in mind. Tears of pain. So I'm getting Zahn's eyebrows threaded. Hold on, stop, stop. I can see a tear. Great. Now all we have to do is wait for the tears to dry and turn into crystals. Right, come on, Zahn. Time to look at the results. First up, it's the onion tears. So these are your dried tears from when you chopped onions. Wow! Crystals from my eyes. So high, no, you can't resist. Follow me, follow me. 